today we're going to talk about the ADO.NET Entity Framework. Um, the ADO.NET Entity Framework is something new in Visual Studio 2008 SP1, which is in beta now and due out very shortly. Um, basically, the ADO.NET Entity Framework allows you to define a conceptual entity model and then to expose that to programmers so you can actually write code against the conceptual model, which is flexibly mapped to the underlying store. So the entity framework uh, is built on the entity data model, which has entity types and relationships. Uh, it exposes ORM capabilities for querying and returning results in terms of objects. Uh, there's a flexible mapping between your conceptual model and the actual storage schema. So your storage schema can change over time. You can modify the declarative mapping and keep the same model that your application programs against. Um, and the entity framework works against multiple stores uh, through ADO.NET data providers. So it's not just for SQL Server, it works against Sybase and Oracle and whatever other databases expose ADO.NET data providers support the entity framework. This is our architectural diagram of what it looks like, and we don't have time to go into it, so neat. Uh, one particular thing I'm going to show that's built on top of the ADO.NET and the framework is something called ADO.NET Data Services. And the idea of ADO.NET Data Services is to take that nice entity model that you've defined and backed by a database and expose it to the world. And expose it not just as a web service where you define the signature ahead of time, but as a data service where you can actually uh, navigate the data model and query the data model through a REST interaction. Who's familiar with REST? Okay, a few people. We'll see some examples. The results are returned as either Adam or Jason. Um, there's a lot of advanced features that we won't be able to get into in this little mini presentation. Uh, it works over the entity framework or other implementations of Link. Um, and there's optional client-side components that allow you to build those REST-based URLs to take the results returned as Adam and materialize them as objects and build link queries against those objects and so forth. 